Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and I'm here with my boy, Alan. Alan, how are you, man? I am great. Oh, nice to be here, man. So good. So check this out. We're at a hacker lab, like about two blocks from my facility, and you guys know we're in Rockland, California, and these guys are doing some amazing things right down the road. So I shot down here to have a conversation with Alan. They need some support. They need some awareness. So let's put them on camera real quick and make it happen. So. So Alan, yeah. what do you got going on over there? Okay, so this is the face shield that we're making. It's a really simple design by Joe Prusa and his team. We've got a frame, a clip at the bottom to help hold the shape of the lens, which is laser cut, and then an elastic strap. This is just buttonhole elastic from your fabric store so that it can be adjustable for different head sizes. Uh, the process is really easy. It literally just clips onto the mask like that. It takes two seconds. We're we're sending them out. One is assembled in a box, so we're doing 10 packs and 50 packs. Uh, and so they get a demo one, but then it's flat packed for the rest, so the doc can assemble it on, on site. They can bleach wipe it, make sure it's disinfected and safe. They peel off the plastic from the lens and stuff. Um, but there's really not a lot to it. It's an elegant design. Uh, the problem is, is 3D printing it is a slow process, so we have to throw a lot of machines at it. We've got a lot of people handling all the logistics of getting the packaging together, the laser cutting done, the you know getting our getting our little hashtag on there so we can get the word out, all of that stuff. We take safety very seriously, so we start by disinfecting everything that we get. We do that per CDC standards for high level disinfection. So if people want to actually volunteer their time yep. and actually 3D print up these main pieces, these small pieces, and help out, where can they get more information? Yeah, so you can start by going to our website. That's opshieldsup.org. So opshieldsup.org. And uh, we got all the info on there. Uh, if, you, if you don't have a printer and you just want to contribute, we got all the donate links on there too. Funding really helps so we can get more materials and stuff in here. We are 100% donation based. We do not sell these things at all. Uh, so the more that we can make, the faster we can get these out to those in need. That's awesome. And all over the community, basically all over the nation, you have people donating to the cause. Yes. Right? Yes. And it, it's incredible. Dude, like it's makers, so from kids to humbling, retired people to vets to everyone. I had a guy walk up yesterday and just handed me a check. Like at the, He's like, I saw you on the news. I saw what you're doing. It's amazing. And, and that's just been nonstop. That's awesome. Yeah. Donations. There, there'll be a link down below. These guys are maxing out the credit cards, doing whatever they can to actually make a difference. So if you guys can even donate $5 to the cause to actually help these guys produce shields. One thing that I'll say is like, when I actually turn on the TV, I hear that there's like millions of face masks and all of these things. And yet when you talk to local hospitals, when you talk to, you know, the old folks homes and the different care places, they don't have these, right? And it's not just them, anybody working right now, this is just a very functional item that can keep your, that can keep you safe, right? Yeah. Who else needs these masks? First responders, uh, transit workers, uh, you know, basically anybody that's on the front lines interacting with people that may be at risk, you know, they can benefit from this. So we really, really need to get these out into the hands of the first responders. We take a small risk here, so the people that are taking the big risk are taken care of. That's awesome. Even if you have a mask, I mean, just, just if you're at Starbucks or you're making food or you're doing anything, like this just helps out, right? Certainly, certainly. We're, we're obviously trying to triage, get them in the hands of those that are really, you know, in the need. So ER docs right now, I mean, they're they're putting bags over their heads, they're making stuff out of saran wrap, cafeteria trays. Like, it's really important that we get these to, to who needs them. And we're making so many and we can make, we can scale this thing to the moon if we need to. So we awesome. can get them in the hands of those that need it. Boom, you're doing an incredible job. Thanks, Thank you brother. so much, thanks man. For, thanks for showing up and helping us. All right, Hacker Lab, Rockland, California, making yep. it happen. Thank you guys so much for your support. Links are down below. Boom. Thanks, guys.